Hello everyone. Happy new year to all. This will be the first question of this year and today we are going to solve a functional equation. I really hope all you are doing well and if you want to solve this question just pause the video otherwise keep watching how to solve it. Let's start. So what we are going to do here the domain of this problem is you can see here is natural number so we'll solve this question over natural number only one thing to notice here zero is a not natural number so we'll only have positive whole numbers so now let's start so first what i'm going to do i'm going to use these properties that you see this is the first property where f of 2 is 2 second property says this is a multiplicative function third property is strictly increasing well so now we'll try to find all the values of this function so we'll use all the properties to find all such functions so let's uh, find out what is f of, f of 1, what is f of 2, we know f of 2 is 2 given, so it's 2, we have to find f of 3 and f of 4 and so on. So how to find it? Let's find f of 1. To find f of 1, we'll use second property, let's take both m is equals to n, both are 1, then we'll have f of 1 is equals to f of 1 into 1 and therefore this is equals to f of 1 into f of 1 which is equals to f of 1 square now if you see here f of 2 is 2 and uh, we know that 1 is less than 2 it means f of 1 must be less than of f of 2 but because we are working uh, over natural number the only number left which is less than 2 and 0 is not included in natural number so it means f of 1 must be equals to 1 because the only number which is less than 2 is 1 over natural number so now we have f of 1 is equals to 1 and let's find f of 3 now so how to find f of 3 so now we know f of 1 is 1 f of 2 is 2 already given let's find f of 3 so in order to find f of 3 let's use second property that we have to find f of 4 here why let's see so f of 4 can be found as this is using second property 2 into 2 basically we have taken both m and n equals to 2 so f of 2 is f of 2 into 2 will be equals to f of 2 into f of 2 which is equals to f of 2 square and we know that f of 2 is equals to 2 so this is 2 square this is equals to 4 so f of 4 is 4 so let's use f of 2 and f of 4 to find f of 3 how let's see we know f of 2 is 2 we don't know f of 3 but we know f of 4 is 4 and using third property because 2 is less than 3 which is less than 4 it, it means f of 2 must be less than of f of 3 and f of 3 must be less than of f of 4 and you see that because this function is increasing strictly and because we are working over natural number the only number which is in between 2 and 4 is 3 it means f of 2 is equals to 2 f of 4 is equals to 4 so this f of 3 must be in between 2 and 4 which is equals to 3 it means f of 3 must be 3 now find f of let's find f of 5 we know f of 4 is equals to 4 we don't know f of 5 and we don't know f of 6 also so in order to find f of 5 we have to find f of 6 let's use the property 2 where let's take m is equals to 2 and n is equals to 3 therefore 
f of 6 must be equals to f of 2 into f of 3 and we know that f of 2 is equals to 2 and f of 3 is equals to 3 so it means f of 6 must be 6 now let's use the same trick uh, as we used before to find f of 5 because f of 4 it must be less than f of 5 which must be less than of f of 6 and we know that f of 4 is equals to 4 and f of 6 is equals to 6 it means f of 5 must lie in between 4 and 6 which is the only answer is 5 it means f of 5 must be 5 and I think now you can see the pattern and you can follow this up to infinitely many times and you can find that actually f of n is equals to n for all natural number but uh, to finish this with a proof we can use induction hypothesis to prove that this holds for every natural number so let's do it and finish the proof so how to prove f of n is equal to n for all natural number suppose f of, we have proven that f of 1 is equal to 1 f of 2 is equal to 2 and f of 3 is equal to 3 so on for some number 2k which is equals to 2k right and now using the same technique as before f of 2k must be less than of f of 2k plus 1 must be less than of f of 2k plus 2 using third property and uh, it means we have to find f of 2k plus 2 first because we know f of 2k is 2k so this is equals to 2k and let's find f of 2k plus 2 f of 2k plus 2 if I take 2 as common this is equals to and using our second property this will be equals to f of 2 into f of k plus 1 and uh, because because k plus 1 is less than or equals to 2k we have f of 2 is equals to 2 f of k plus 1 is equals to k plus 1 which is equals to 2k plus 2 so f of 2k plus 2 equals to 2k plus 2 and using our third property because this is an increasing function the only possibility left the only thing left which is less than 2k and uh, less than 2k plus 2 or in between 2k and 2k plus 2 is 2k plus 1 so it means the function 2k plus 1 must be equals to 2k plus 1 only so we have proven for both even an odd number it finishes our proof that f of n is equals to n for our natural number here our proof is over Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.